Hi guys, I am back with another customer submission. Been a while since I've done a YouTube video. Been a while since I've done an Instagram post, but you know, I'm still here. I'm still going. It's all good. Um, Alright then, so today we have an 80, 90 or 100 card submission. Um, I'm not totally sure uh, whatever I uh, don't send off. Whatever, if it doesn't reach 100, then I'll just send off enough cards to reach 100 at least. Um, uh, the first cards we're going to look at are Gwen's, and Gwen is a first time sender. Thanks for the note. Um, I won't show the whole letter, but it says, Big fan of your YT channel. Watch for them a while now. Thank you. And that's great. Uh, thanks for those kind words. And thankfully, look at that. We've got some cards as well to go on top. So. Let's have a look what Gwen's sending. We've got a lovely shining Noctowl there. I mean, you can't go wrong with a shining Pokemon from Neo Destiny. Looks pretty minty. You've got a bit of whitening on the top right, but it looks pretty minty otherwise. You've got the Charizard from CP6. No, no, not CP6. Evolutions, you know, English version. And then you've got Espeon GX. Another Espeon GX. And this Espeon GX as well. Can't go wrong with them. I know that they grade quite well uh, from Sun and Moon, so hopefully you'll get some uh, good grades on that. And then we've got a Raichu Level X uh, Japanese. Now, I haven't seen one a Level X Japanese like in person ever, so thanks for sending that in. We have a Luigi back. And then we've got the Rayquaza Pikachu. These are always very popular Japanese promos. Same with the Luigi and Mario Pikachus. And then you've got your Vettel and the other one. <laughs> I can never say it from Best of XY. Japanese. Beautiful artwork, this one. Uh, I don't think anyone can disagree with that. And then we've got the Pikachu GX. I know this card's very popular with a lot of people too. Um, I think especially because Ash is in the background there. So, great. Thanks, Gwen, for your first submission. Uh, and hopefully it all goes well. Uh, I got all your information, and uh, so don't worry about that. I'll um, I'll let you know before I send out anyway, just to double check. Then we go to Collector's Vault, sending off another 13 cards. It was 10 last time, wasn't it? We got a beautiful Houndoom first edition from Neo Discovery. You can never go wrong with first edition Neo cards. Looks pretty minty as well, actually. I mean, the top will probably stop it from scoring a gem. But you're probably looking at a good mint nine there. And then we go on to the newer cards. I always like seeing these because I know that I don't have the time or the money to uh, own these. I probably will in 10 years' time, though. How weird is that? Oh, I did want to show this one off. This one is, like, ridiculously um, off-center. If you see, left to right. Look how big the gap is on the right and how nothing there is on the left. Really cool card there, to be honest. So I, I, they must give that the um, off-center OC grade. They must give it that. And then we have some really new cards. So these have literally just come out of Japan. Uh, the uh, Shining card. So this is just Shining Ho-Ho. I have no idea what that is. I don't actually know what that is. Someone let me know what that is. Arceus. Why don't I know what that is? That's going to really bother me now. I bet I bet it's really obvious. I, I can't I don't know the name of this one either. Sorry, guys. My p Pokemon knowledge on the new cards is severely lacking. Two of them. And then, I, well, I know he's a Rayquaza. I'm not going to go wrong there. Beautiful one there. Two of them. Two of them. Great. And then this Mewtwo. This Mewtwo has been... Doing the rounds on Instagram and like, all the popular places where the Pokemon community is. And I think everyone agrees it is one of the best artworks you can find at the moment. Definitely the best in this set. It's almost got a Darth Vader feel to it um, in his little back to chamber. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that. And then another Mewtwo GX. Really cool looking. And then the Entei GX. Cheers, Ross. That's great. That's another 13 going off. Hopefully, we'll get your uh, other cards back as well soon. And then we have our first Yu-Gi-Oh! submitter. 
so this guy caught me up on Instagram. I was like, I want to send some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I was like, yeah, sure, you can. Uh, Sean, uh, you totally can, uh, but I don't know a thing about them. So you better send me all the information that you've got. Uh, so we've got Gift of the Mystical Elf. Numinous Healer. Uh, Haya Zanzru. I don't know, I'm not even going to bother, but I like the look of that dragon, to be fair. Jinzo. Mirror Wall. First edition, I see. Dust Tornado. I know they do the Yu-Gi-Oh cards a bit differently. They put like a foil behind them when they've graded them. Buster Blader. Magical Hats. That's a really cool looking card. I really like that. Bit of Riddler there. With the green uh, question marks. Thousand Eyes Restrict. Attack Non-Defense Nom. Now, I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, but that doesn't sound too good. And Parasite Parasite. I think... Mean, Cheers. Well, that's great, actually. Um, that's the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! submission going through my account at all, but also going through Grady Grad on uh, PSA grading surface. So, yeah, you totally can send in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but I will need to know all the information because otherwise I'm, I'm, you know, I'm walking in the dark, basically. Then we have our biggest customer submitter. We have, well, I think... Sends off a lot, to be honest. Uh, Rob or Pokemon Sphere on Instagram. Definitely go follow him. Got loads of stuff going on. And I'm pretty sure when they when he gets his PSA returns, he's going to have even more stuff going on. So I thought I'd open these on camera. So we'll start with base first. And I don't mean we'll start with base first. I mean we'll start with base first editions. Lovely. So we've got an Electabuzz. Rare, Dugong, Arcanine, Pidgeotto, let's just take a look at one random one. Yeah, they look good. If they're all like that, they look good. Nines and tens, I'd expect, if they're all like that. Yeah, little Nick down below on the Kadabra. They're quite strict with basic set first edition. Um... They like their gems to be gem. And I know they should be strict on every card. But I think PSA are particularly strict on first edition base set. Because it is, you know, the, the first set of the hobby really. The first English set of course. And Haunter. I think we've got another lot. Of oh, base set first edition. Obviously I need to go. I, there's no duplicates so far which is great. Uh, I need to go through what I can send in. I think I was speaking to Robin. I um, think I might send in some of my Gym Heroes holofoils. We've got Item Finder. got Scoop Up. Super Potion. And of course, this is the Holy Grail. Um, you know, Gem Mint 10, first edition set. That is... That's what, that's what every collector wants to get one day. I mean, whether it's ever obtainable for them. I know it's probably not obtainable for me... Uh, Abra, um, and to be honest, to put all of my effort into a Gem Mint 102 card set, where they're all basically minimum £50 each, uh, even for the common cards, it just it wouldn't be totally worth my effort, unfortunately. I much prefer collecting a, uh, various different sets. Although I would like the Charmander Blast, uh, Charmander... Squirtle and Bulbasaur. I think they'd be pretty good to own a gem in 10. Not the wall turtle though. That's just way out of my price range. So then we have a dark wheezing. And if anyone's been following Team Rocket first edition. The prices of these have rocketed. Yep. I'll have a moment of silence after that. Awful pun. Ah there we go. Rainbow energy. First edition. I know that. One of these recently gem went for a lot of cash, to be honest. That looks really nice. Looks really nice. It's, which is why I like to call it 9.5. Dark Arbok. Dark Varplume. Dark Hypno. 
Dark Dragonite, there's a heavy hitter. And Dark Charizard, the heavy hitter. That's the one I was checking to see if you submitted. Really clean again. You really do know how to pick up clean cards, don't you? Really nice. Right then, we move on to jungle. I don't. Are these the ones from your booster box? Was you that I was speaking to, wasn't it? That opened a booster box. I really hope so. Always get conversations mixed up. Um, luckily, I'm very organised with spreadsheets. <laughs> a wiggly to first edition, a Nido Queen first edition. How do these look? Nice, really nice to be honest. A bit off centre, but nice. Nido Queen again, first edition. Venomoth, first edition. This card's quite hard to get in gem. I mean, I've never had one, I've never seen one. Uh, more of a nine, I think, on that. Electrode, Flareon. I mean, you've always got to enjoy the Flareon, Jolteon, and the Vaporeon from the jungle set. Oh, we got two Jolteons. I mean, you can't go wrong there. Oh, these are close, aren't they? Not so much that one, because it's got a big nick in the top right, but these are really close. I mean, I don't want to get your hopes up, but let's just, fingers crossed, for one or two gems out of this lot, you know? Nice. It's just, it's difficult with uh, PSA, because... You can have a card that's so close to gem and it, it's just not a gem, if that makes sense. You know, it really does have to be totally uh, flawless sometimes for them to give the gem in 10 grade. I like the look of that Pidgeot though. Um, if I was a betting man, I'd have a good bet on that receiving the gem grade. Have we got any silver in on it? He got a little bit, but nothing too harsh. Alright then, let's move on. Uh, eight gym, and then another nine teams rocket. I should have just done the teams with rocket together. Actually, let's just do the team rocket now. I have to put them in date order, so. And we got the dark mashup. I'm guessing you sent in a full set here then. Did you open a booster box of these? Or, I mean, comment below where you got these from. Would you just buy a set on eBay? Dark Blastoise. Oh, I like that one. I do like that one. Dark Magneton. Now, the thing is with the Dark Magneton, you're always looking for scratches in the holophone. Because that is what lets this card down so, so often. And it's very sad when you have a Dark Magneton with no scratches on the foil, but it's got whitening on the back. Ugh. Oh, that's close. So close. I mean, that would be a great card to get the gem in. Dark Blastoise again, and another Dark Magneton. Oh, so close again. The thing is, they are mint cards, whether they're gem or not. I just, I'm not sure. Here comes Team Rocket. Dark Gyarados. Dark Alakazam. Always like this Alakazam, always. Dark Golbat. I haven't done a video in a long time. I think that's why I'm being so bloody chatty. And then we have the Gym Heroes. This is a set I'm currently trying to complete. PSA 10 First Edition. So we've got the Erica's Vileplume. We've got the Sir El Lieutenant Surge's Fero. Always like this Fero. Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. Erica's Venusaur. Oh, these are from Gym Challenge. Uh, Giovanni's Persian. Rockets Mewtwo, Koga's Beedrill, and Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. I mean, Gym Challenge normally grades quite well, apart from maybe the Persian. But if they look good, they do normally grade quite well. So I move my finger. Lovely. Uh, and then we have four cards from Sam. I just want to make this point. Sam sends a lot of cards with me, so... Um, you know, I, I allowed them to send four. If you're a first-time sender, uh, or even if you sent before, just let me know if you want to send less this month. Should be totally fine, but if you're a first-time sender, minimum is 10 cards, um, especially 
on that deal of eight pound a card. I mean, I literally, it's near enough cost for me. That is, uh, with postage, with the customs, with the rest of it. So, that's Kabutops first edition, Aerodactyl first edition, and Articuno first edition, and. This lovely McDonald's Japanese promo. And what a card to end on. I don't know how many cards that was, but it was quite a few. I'm pretty certain there was no duplicates in there. Which is great for me. Um, right, I'm going to get these guys ready, sent off, um, and decide what I'm going to put into to the submission. I'm going to count these up as well. I mean, that would help put them on the spreadsheet. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Um, if you're subbed, thanks for being a sub. Um, and if you're not subbed, Press that subscribe button, please like the video, um, and I hope you enjoyed the card. Uh, and obviously, thanks to everyone here who sent off this month. Cheers, guys. Bye.